Hey, I'm Gory Nanumi. And I'm Danny Nightman. And we're Horror Addicts. And today we're opening a creepy, creepy crate. crate. So, Creepy Crate. It's a horror collectibles box. They usually have a book inside. They have lots of true crime items and just lots of interesting little things that creepy people like us enjoy. So, uh, we have no idea what's in this month's box, so why don't we just open it up and find out? Yeah, let's raid this tomb already. Are you a tomb raider? Uh-huh. I don't believe you. I'm also a womb raider. <laughs> if you are a tomb raider, you'd have a braid, or is that pattern wand? Or is it both? I don't know. Let me know in those comments below. I'll let you go first. What Ooh, is it? Shot. <laughs> what is it? Oh, boy. Oh, God. What is it? It, I believe, is some sort of pillowcase, and it's got a bunch of serial killers on it. I think I see Dahmer, Bundy, Gacy. Yeah, it's got the three killers on it. Yeah, those are probably three of the most notorious serial killers in American history. This is a really cool item if you're into true crime stuff. Personally, I don't think I want these guys' faces underneath my head when I'm sleeping, but Danny might. I don't think I'll be losing any sleep over it. And it's really big too, so you could fit like a giant sized pillow in here. Or, you know, over a large sized victim. I like how it's black and white and it's even a little cartoony and it kind of reminds me of when the South Park used these three characters as a parody for the Stooges. Th that's very nice. Uh, let's move on to something <laughs> less horrifying. And it's a squishy thing. What is it? Ooh, what we got here is some police tape do not cross socks. Those are cool. Yeah, these are really cool. They're kind of like dude socks though, so I'm making them to you. Oh, wait. Put them on. All right. Oh, he's taking off his socks. Wow. These were the socks he had on. But now these are the ones I have on right now. Wow, you look pretty fierce. I like them. Don't cross his feet, polices. Yeah. You're gonna get his heel. I wonder if these are the kind Dexter wears. Probably. And it is time for another item. Item in the box. Sweet baby Jesus, there's a lot of serial killers in this month's box. Actually, no, this isn't serial killers. This is murder, lies, and cover-ups. So it's gonna be talking about who killed Marilyn Monroe, JFK, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, and Princess Diana. You know who I think it was? Chucky. Chucky did it. But yeah, this looks pretty cool, especially if you're into conspiracy theories. If you wanna hear some interesting thoughts on what might have really happened, and there's some pictures and stuff in here, and it's all, all very head scratchy is what it is. It smells so good though. Oh. <laughs> it smells so good. All right, here you go. Have a whiff of that. Oh yeah. Why don't they make like a cologne of that? Seriously, if if you had a cologne that smelled like that, Jesus. Or a body Jesus. wash. Ah, uh, if you smelled like new book all the time, holy balls, we'd never leave our bedroom. New book by Old Spice. <clears throat> no, I'm actually looking forward to this. Uh, just even if it has just informations on the case, I'll find it interesting. All right, well, uh, you enjoy your informations. I feel like that was kind of a Danny item, so I'm gonna go again. Second in there. It's in here. That's a Danny item. Sweet baby Jeebus. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? In case Ed Gein was feeling left out. It's a birthday card that says, All my suits are birthday suits. Which, uh, if you know anything about Ed Gein, that's very true. He's very into the skinning of people's and making making creative art projects out of them, like lampshades and shit. Yeah, and he's always well prepared for any masquerade. And if you're not familiar with Ed Gein, he's the guy that they loosely based Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Leatherface, yeah. Norman Bates from Psycho, and of course Silence of the Lions off of. I, I have no idea who I would give this card to on their birthday. Like, nobody <laughs> is coming to mind, except maybe you. It'd be a great birthday card to give to me. Okay, I'm just gonna save that for your birthday. <laughs> I'm going again. I'll see what it is. It's the Unabomber. So this is a very true crime. <laughs> this is 
a very true crime themed box, which you know I'm more of a, a, a horror fan, not so much a true crime fan. That kind of stuff skews me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I guess I can get down with the Unabomber. Lip balm. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> At least you can use that. Yeah. I don't think this is causing any destruction, so yeah. <laughs> Unabomber, guys. It's from Crime Con. So uh, it, it's just basically your standard average lip balm. It doesn't taste like anything in particular for maybe to spare. Tears. And tears. Last item, Danny. Knock yourself out. Looks like we have an Unsolved Mysteries calendar. And I love that show. I don't think it's quite related to it, even though it's called that. But it has some cool art. It's really well done. And we got the Zodiac Killer on here. The Velisca Axe Murders. So it's a bunch of real true crime that never really got solved. But... Oh, if you're really ambitious, each month you could try to solve that crime. Yeah. Like a to-do list. 28 to 31 days to do it. Are you up for the challenge? D.B. Cooper! I don't think Goonies solved the D.B. Cooper thing. I think they did. <laughs> solved. The Black Dahlia, there's a good one. There's the Kitty Cabin 28 Murders, which inspired the strangers. And yes, of course, they definitely have Jack the Ripper. You get some information on each of these unsolved mysteries, and it even tells you web addresses where you can read more about it. Yeah, so this will be interesting. And at the very bottom of the box, there's a card in here for Crime Con, which I think is a true crime convention. And it says if you use the promo code CREEPYCRATE, that you get 15% off. So uh, you should do that. And speaking of special promo codes, if you want to get a creepy crate of your very own, then you can use that code ADDICTS and you're going to get yourself $5 off your first box. But Danny, let's talk about this box. What was your favorite item? Well, I'm not 100% sure. It might be the calendar because I really like the artwork and just cool calendar. But I haven't read this book yet. It could very well be the book. I guess my favorite item would be the conspiracy book. That's one I would actually check out and read. Like I said, I'm not a big true crime person, but I think if you were a true crime fan, this box is pretty killer. Very killer. And if you're not into true crime stuff, you know, normally Creepy Crate mixes it up quite a bit. Normally there's like stuff from horror movies and horror books and such as well. It just depends on the month. This is a true crime heavy month. Who knows what's gonna be in next one's box. Heavy crime flow. That sounds like a menstrual thing. <laughs> and of course, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hack that thumbs up button, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay notified. And if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to check out Horror Addicts Anonymous. That's our Patreon page over at patreon.com forward slash horror addicts TV. Cut!